10 things everyone ought to know about the end of the world. Number one, the end of the world will not be a random tragedy. The end of the world has a purpose. Many people are going crazy right now wondering, how is everything going to end? Is global warming going to culminate to the point where the earth just becomes a ball of fire? Will artificial intelligence take over humanity? Is there going to be a nuclear war that destroys everyone and everything? Well, I want you to understand that your view of the end comes from a worldview. And there are really two main worldviews that a person could have. Concerning what happens in here, the beginning of humanity's existence to the end of humanity's existence. Let's talk about that. First of all, you may believe that there is no God. Now, if you think that there is no supernatural being behind the universe, no intelligence that made everything, then by necessity, you must believe that matter is eternal. You have to believe that at some point in time, even if in the smallest form, matter, which always existed because it never had a creator, organized itself by randomness and a whole lot of time. So chaos for you turned into some inexplicable orderliness that we now see. How did the times that we're living in become so orderly? How did the beings and all of the things in the universe that we see become orderly? Well, there's really no explanation for that since everything would have come from randomness and time, but that's what happens when you have a worldview without God. Given that same worldview, it's understandable that you would see the end of time happening with mass destruction, random elimination. If there's no God, randomness over lots of time, matter with no supernatural being behind it, this all organized itself somehow into the existence we now have, but obviously would end up again easily in some mass destruction if all we do is make a mistake or if there is no being who is behind this and has a plan. But if you have a biblical Christian worldview and you believe in God, we know that Genesis 1-1 says, in the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. We believe that there is a God who exists outside of time, outside of space, and outside of matter. We believe that this God was able to create all three of these things because he exists outside of them. And that was the beginning the beginning of time and the beginning of the universe as we know it. We believe that this God is eternal. He had no beginning and he has no end. There was a time when no world, no universe existed, but God did. And at some point, God decided to create time, space, and matter. That's this point right here. This is Genesis 1.1. In the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. We believe then that we humans, through our rebellion against this perfect and eternal God, it was our willful sin against his way and his plan. It was our choosing to break our relationship with him that produced all of the chaos and disorderliness that we see in the world today. Yes, we see some order in the universe, but what we really know is behind it is a lot of chaos, a lot of pain, a lot of trouble, a lot of inexplicable things, a lot of horror. We believe that came as a result of human rebellion. That came as a result of sin against this eternal God. Therefore, knowing that there was an eternal God that started the whole thing, we believe that there is an eternal God who is going to end the whole thing. 
a God who is greater than this rebellion and this chaos that we see ourselves in. And at some point, he is going to remake this world into a world of perfection. So here are, in a nutshell, the two worldviews you can have based on no God or believing in God. With no God, it is eternal matter, randomness, and time that starts everything, leading to some form of orderliness that, of course, obviously, could easily end in chaos again because there's no superintending power over all of this. However, if you believe in God, specifically the God of the Bible, he existed in eternity past, way before the world ever did. He chose to create time, space, and matter. We messed that up through our rebellion against him. But this same eternal God, who is from eternity past and will exist in eternity future, one day is going to remake the world into perfection again. Everything was perfect before we messed it up. And one day, everything will be perfect again.